so welcome everyone to this video uh, today I wanted to show you the project that I have been working on uh, since this past week so this is a basic 3d simulation of the Carnos engine so this is this will just help you to uh, have a better understanding of how this uh, how the processes um, are carried out in the uh, Carnot's engine so uh, on the top uh, right corner of your screen you can see the processes are indicated um, the green dot indicates the process that uh, is currently uh, being carried out um, so you can see the four types of processes um, and below that you can see a thermometer which indicates the temperature of the working substance uh, of the substance which is inside this cylinder um, so the temperature uh, ch uh, keeps changing and the thermometer will uh, indicate the temperature at any instant um, and to the right side of the temperature you can see uh, there's a small index which gives uh, information about the slabs which are beneath the cylinder the hot reservoir the adiabatic wall and the cold reservoir so the white colored slab is adiabatic wall that means uh, whenever this uh, white slab is below the cylinder that means no heat exchange is taking place um, and similarly the red colored slab the hot reservoir gives heat into the system and similarly the blue uh, colored slab takes heat out of the system and now on the, on the top right corner you can see a simple graph which gives the basic outline of the uh, thermodynamic changes through which the working substance inside the cylinder goes through. Uh, so uh, this will just give you an idea of the pressure and volume of the um, working substance at any instant. Um, and then on the bottom right corner you can see the uh, uh, small index that indicates the speed of the uh, system so this speed is given in cycles per second so this is uh, by default 0 0.2 but as you can see uh, uh, below that the speed can be changed uh, using the keys Q and E so you can increase the speed to uh, a maximum value of one cycle per second uh, and you can decrease this all uh, decrease it all the way down to zero cycles per second that means uh, the system will stop and it'll stop working and you can keep it slow or you can keep it fast um, so uh, this is the basic description of this application um, and you can press the W key to exit the application now uh, if you want the source code for the application you will find a link down in the description um, using the link you can download both the binaries and the source code for the application um, and you'll get a compressed package and when you extract its contents it looks something like this so this contains the binary file and all the textures which are required by the application uh, and it contains a folder which will have all the source codes that you require for the application now uh, you, you need to make sure that the all all the textures um, which the application requires are in the same directory as the binary file only then will the binary file will be able to execute or else uh, if it does not find the textures it will just terminate so uh, make sure you do that um, and um, the code is completely open source and you can uh, feel free to edit in any way you like uh, so that was all for this video and uh, thanks for watching